this video will complete our messenger api system that we have been developing so let us start now what i will do is i will define a delete route handler which will handle the delete request we will be using the http verb delete you will say messages colon id this will take an id uh, pertaining to the message that we want to delete this will take in a request with server response and then the very first step you need to do is you need to extract the id of the message that you want to delete from the incoming request parameters so what we need to do is we need to extract the id of the message from the parameters of the request which you know we how to do it uh, we had earlier done this using request.params.id but you know we can get that from the request parameters so that's very important to understand now let us say const and let us destructure id from the object request.params now we need to convert this id to an integer type to be consistent with the structure of our messages where the id is an integer so i will say const message id and then i will say pass sent and pass the id so this id is now an integer id okay now the next step is to find the index of the message that you want to delete using this message id so i will say const message index messages dot find dot find index and then this will take a message in each iteration and what it uh, what it will do is it will try to match the message id with each message every time it goes through the list of messages so we need to find the index pertaining to the message that we want to delete so i'm using the find index method which is taking each time the message is matching the id of each message with the message id that we are looking for now if the message id does not come out to be a valid index it means that the message does not exist so let us try to add a check for this if if the messages dot includes messages message index this means if the list of messages that we are having which is a hard coded list of messages if it doesn't have the message that we are looking for okay in that case you simply return a response saying that the message pertaining to this and this id does not exist so the deletion cannot continue since the id for the message does not exist within the list of hard coded messages okay so we we'll simply return a response dot status code and the status code will be 404 means not found since we are not able to find the message resource in the list of messages we we'll simply return a json response add a simple note and i will say the message pertaining to message id does not exist okay so now before deleting the message now this case is now handled so now if we reach to the line 113 this means the message id does exist okay so the index pertaining to the message that you want to delete is definitely present in the list of messages so you can continue with deletion so before deleting the message from list of messages you have to store the message that you got for carrying out deletion so even if you want to serve the message that you're deleting to the end user you can do so so i'm before uh, making the deletion i'm storing the message in a variable okay so let us see what we now need to do is we'll say message to delete and i will say messages message index so i'm storing this message in a variable and then i'm going to delete this message so the next step is to delete the message using the message index that we got above so messages dot splice message index comma one and lastly once the message got deleted you can simply serve a response or status code 200 note message with the message id got 
successfully deleted and also we'll pass the current status of messages because we're using a splice method and that is a mutator method so that means we are changing the list of messages that we are having in a mutative way okay so we're directly affecting the original list of messages and we will send the message that just got deleted which we stored earlier before deletion the message to delete so this is our implementation of a route handler uh, let us try to uh, check this by making a request to the backend and uh, trying to delete the message pertaining to a specific id so i'll try to delete the nerdy dev let us learn express uh, this message by making the request let us go to the postman and but before that we should run our server first so are we in the correct folder i don't think so cd desktop cd messenger system and then you can say node app.js so this will start running now and let us wait a little before it runs so now server is now running on port 1337 let us now make the request localhost 1337 messages and pass three and let us issue the delete request now so you can see message with the id three got successfully deleted now let us try to fetch and you can see the messages that we are currently having doesn't include the message with the id three because it is now deleted now let us try to fetch all the messages after the deletion and then and you can see that the list of messages is updated because the message pertaining to the id3 which was a uh, uh, which had a name of nerdy dev is now deleted so we are now having two messages